me see if I can. Let me retune this without an E string, and we'll do it without an E string. That'll. That's a sound. It yeah, works. absolutely. Yeah. Done it before. Well, we'll just, but we just keep going until we get enough of a little riff. All you need is like three or four to maybe fade it out. Ah, shit. Costa Rica, anyone that's visited the country knows it's a giant playground, especially if you're an outdoor junkie. My name is Jesse Mills. I'm an international fly fishing guide, filmmaker, and a patented fly tire. My passion is kind of everything surrounding the sport of fly fishing. I love everything about it, and I love every angle, even down to tying the flies that we use to go catch the fish. It's, I'm stoked on literally everything that this is about. The crew down here is pretty much, it's a trifecta of me, my good buddy Mark, and then Micah, who's pretty much my brother. I've known the kid since he came home from the hospital as a baby. I think to, des to describe Micah is, in one word is just the word feral. He's a feral human being. Barefoot all the time. I'm not kidding. <laughs> I'm not kidding. He's been like that since we were young. Mark's an expat. He's a, he's a jungle warrior, as you could say. Like, he's been all around this country and, and someone who's always up for an adventure. He never says no. Uh, I don't care what he's doing. If you say, hey man, we're gonna go climb this mountain or we're gonna paddle into this lagoon, he's doing it with you. He's not gonna say no. We have two coastlines, mountains and jungles in between. So for this trip, we're gonna focus mainly on some of the lowland jungle rivers. That let us catch machaca, which is sort of a piranha species. So it's one of our favorite things to do here as guides and, and a very unique thing to show people that haven't visited this part of the country before. The machaca is gonna be feeding on a fruit called a chilamate, which is a pretty common tree that grows along the river and it drops anything from a golf ball size to a tennis ball size fruit. And that's the primary food source for the machaca. So to fish for them, we created these lures made out of wood that imitate the appropriate sound of the chilamate falling from 30 feet. You do this debaucherated fly cast, the fly smacks as hard as you can smack it, and the fish think it's a fruit falling from the tree from 40 feet and come up and crush it. So it's, it's not like a finesse game like trout fishing or, or even, it's not very romantic to watch either because we just look like we don't know how to fly cast. But it's pretty adrenaline filled when that fish comes up and just smokes it. A typical scene on the river would be, you know, launching. Immediately you're connecting with the sounds of the rapids. You get down the stretches, you're gonna see iguanas, sloths, howler monkeys, you know, and that's that's one of the big things is anytime you see a monkey over the river or a big iguana that's been there for a minute, he's been shitting in the water and those fish love coming up and eating really any animal shit possible. So anytime you see a howler monkey, you wanna be casting under that, that animal for sure. And there's gonna be fish there, there's no doubt about it.
I'm a simple person. I don't need all the finer things of life to be happy. I think internal peace is where I'm headed. <laughs> Can't believe I actually just said that. <laughs> My dad's favorite saying is, you're only as good as the people you surround yourself with. And I think we've grown and uh, will continue to grow, uh, not only as anglers, but as humans. It's a lifestyle that we live. The dream is to continue the dream that we're already dreaming and living. <laughs>